Hello everyone, Jeff again here. You're looking at a standard size linen closet here in the master bath here. And in here we're going to put some wire shelves in here today. And the shelves that we've chosen here are these here. Now these are two foot wide. And I always like to make sure I get the 16 inch deep shelves. Don't use the 12 inch. You want the 16 inch. Especially since this is a such a, a deep closet anyway. This closet's like 26 inches. So we're going to have about 10 inches of extra space left over here. And so the way we're going to attach these to the wall here today is we're going to use a couple of different parts. So this is the first part here. This is the wall clip and this will get screwed right onto the back wall there. And as you can see, it's meant to receive the back part of the wire shelf there it'll snap right in now this is what i want you to try to do here is to avoid using just like anchors into the drywall i want you to put your screws right directly into the studs and we know that there's two studs in here there's one over here and there's one over here on this side as well and that's really the best case scenario i mean it only takes a few minutes out of your day so why why skimp on that so here's the first part and then the second part that we're going to use is this little bracket here, this is the, the wall, this is the side bracket. So let me show you how we're going to place this. This will go on the wall here like this, and the shelf will come down and the front of the shelf will rest inside there. So it just provides additional support. And we're gonna use um, the little easy anchors, uh, the metal ones, and I'll show you those in a minute. We're going to use those here for these drill holes. So basically, what we've done here is um, this is a short soffit ceiling here so basically we have seven feet there we marked a line there at six feet another one at five feet four three and then two feet which will allow them to put something tall at the bottom there so you always want to um, <clears throat> allow for that now we're attaching these directly to the studs but you could also use their track system where you have the two styles that come down and I'll show you in a second what we did in our other closet in the front there that we were working on. And by using the styles, you can adjust the shelves to any height you want. It just makes it a little more flexible. Uh, it wasn't in the budget here for this property because we're already over budget here. So this is the track system I was telling you about. And we did this here in the, in the front foyer closet. So all of these these brackets here that are holding the shelves, they can be adjusted up and down. I can control the space here to whatever distance I want. And then you can see we have the main shelf up top here. It's a four foot shelf. And these are all two foot shelves here. So in the other bathroom and in the linen closet where you're mostly doing lighter stuff, it really may not make as much sense to do that unless you really think you're gonna to need to change the configuration. So the next thing you need to worry about is, okay, where's my studs? Okay, so in this 24 inch spot here, I already know where the studs are because we were working in here before we put the drywall up. So we already know, I have a pretty good idea, but I'm just gonna show you my stud finder here. And you can wave it across the wall and you'll see near the end there, it'll start to show you three or so LEDs, three or four, uh, where the metal stud is. And then likewise, if I come across to the other side, it's gonna show me three or four LEDs there that indicates the stud is pretty much right there. He's, he's probably about two inches off the corner of the wall there, all right. So once I found the studs, I then switched to my other magic stud finder. And this is a great tool to have. This is um, my preferred method of, of looking for studs after you've narrowed down where they are, is now you use these magnets here to find where's your screw holes because where, wherever you can find the screw you know you're directly in the center of the stud because the drywall guys were able to see where the center of the stud was and made sure that their screw was in the middle of it so what you do is you simply put this on the wall and you're going to wave it around a little bit there see how it came right off there right on uh, where the was and we're going to take this next one here 
take him down a little ways to find the next one and here's the next one so that's what we do we just kind of go up and down the wall I usually like to plant three of them so let's do the third one now they're usually about 12 inches apart there we go so you can see as we go up the line there each of my magnets has a target on it and I'll just take my pencil and I'll mark the center of the target as I pull it away and then I can draw a straight line I, I normally don't like to draw the line I just mark the dot so I know where the the stud is because I don't want to do a whole lot of repainting in here over my pencil lines so once I know this all three of these magnets right here are marking the center of the stud so I know that all I got to do is put a screw hole somewhere in this vertical line and I'll hit a stud every time with all of my clips. So there's going to be two clips, one here and one here for each of my five shelves. So there's 10 holes I got to drill now. And you just want to make sure you're drilling them uh, even that they're level. All right, so now that I have found where all the screw holes are, I simply put some blue tape right along this line. So this right line here is where my screw center lines are. So that's where we're going to mount the right side clips. Likewise, over here on the left, this left edge here of the blue tape marks the center line of all the screws that were going down that stud. So that's where we're going to screw the white clips. So all 10 of these white clips that we're going to attach are now going to be in the center of the studs. Alright, so next we want to show you the fasteners that we're going to use. And I like to use these. Now I know we have metal studs back there. We don't have wood. So I'm using a special screw here. Um, these are made specifically for attaching drywall here to a light gauge steel studs, which is what we have here. And the reason why I like these is these are self-tapping tips. So you always want to make sure it says self-tapping on there. And I'll show you what these look like. here's a screw here and if you look real close see that sharp pointed tip there that is a self dropping uh, self tapping head there on the tip of this screw here and it's a standard Phillips head so we're just going to drive this in with the with the drill and you can see what I've done over here is I've already pre-drilled some of the, the screw holes up there I didn't go past the metal I just drilled through the drywall up to the metal to make sure that we had a stud there and then we're going to drill these in through our clips and pierce into the metal and it will be secured Okay, so there's the first one attached to the wall there. You can see it in there nicely. So we're just going to go straight down the line here. And once we get them all in, we're then going to make sure we're level all the way across to the left for each one of these to do the one that would go over here. And here you can see we got them nice and level from left to right. Okay, so now you can see we've got the wire shelf is sitting in our little brackets there. And then what we do is we put the side wall bracket here and let the thing rest all the way down and it let the shelf bottom just rest right in there. And then you want to slide it up to the point that it's completely horizontal and you'll want to, of course, use your, your spirit level to tell you when that's exactly level there. And then you just mark a pencil mark in these two holes right there. And then you can drill. Okay, so this is the fastener of choice that I'm going to use. This is the anchor for what I'm going to uh, put the two screw holes right here, you'll see. So I marked them right there for my wall bracket, right? The reason why we use these is I don't like to use any of the 
plastic anchors, the drywall anchors that I see people use. I, it's just my policy. I never use them ever under any circumstances. I always use this type here. The reason why I like this is what you do is you just poke it into the wall, you screw it in with a screwdriver, and this threads all the way in flush, and I'll show you in a minute. And then you take your screw here, so there's the screw that's going to go in there. You push the screw in there and start screwing it in, and what it does with this guy is this little silver arm right here rotates. It'll flip out once the screw hits it and engages with it. And it flips out on the back side of the drywall and pulls it tight once you screw it in. So it'll never come out. I mean, this each one of these is rated for 100 pounds. It will never, ever be a question of whether one of my brackets was ever the cause of a shelf falling down. It will just never happen. I don't care if this is a linen closet. It's just been my policy to never use the plastic anchors. They're so cheap, and they pop right out, too. And also, you don't ever want to run the risk that somebody is doing work later and comes across your plastic anchor and says, oh, let me grab this anchor and use it over here. So who knows what kind of damage they can do. So we prefer to use this method here. So you can see it's screwed in nice and flush with the wall. And let me do the other one now. Well, as it turns out, when we were going to put the second one in here, there's a stud right here. So we're going to go ahead and use the regular uh, metal screw for that one. And you, you stay with this anchor here. Alright, so what you could do if you really wanted to save a little bit of money, these are the anchors that comes with the set, right? So what I will sometimes do is use my fancy anchor here, and then next to it I'll use this anchor here. And you'll see it there. See how it's just a nail that nails right into the anchor to make it spread inside the wall? So that's acceptable. At least one of the two is going to be the, the much more robust anchor. And here we are, you can see we've got three of the shelves done here. So far, everything's working out pretty good. We're nice and level, as you can see. And what I've done here is I've also gone ahead and just used some of the anchors that they provided with the kits, just to show you what it, what it looks like. So on these side ones, you know, you probably could get away with, with doing them because the shearing force is downwards, and so it would have to go through all of that this length of drywall, which is fine. But the more important ones are the ones in the back, because they can pull out of the wall this way. So that's why you want to make sure you're always going into a stud with those or, or always using a really high-end anchor on the back of those. So here's another close-up look, and you can see how the front of the shelf just sits in the, the wall bracket there. So I hope this gives you enough information that you can do this all by yourself. And thanks for stopping by and be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're always adding more videos to help you do your projects around the house.